They're trying to find out who's going to start against Cuz, who already has been pointed out. Let's see which one of them picks. Okay, that's well, that's a Democratic vote, Wild Bill. Just pick the guy. Huh? Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if the Reaper knows what's happening to him or not, but he's uh, he's been relegated to start. Well, well, oh. they all seem to be starting here. Everybody's starting except the two guys outside. Yeah, where'd they go? What are they here doing? Here comes Solomon. Here comes Rick around from behind. Oh, that was a nice oh, yeah, move. Yeah, I see. I see. They're trying to get this thing going the right way. We should tell everybody, too, that as a person loses, he's eliminated from the bout and has to go to the back. That's right. Elimination around. match. When you're beaten, you have to go to the back, and your partners get to stay out there and keep on going. Look out, Cuz has the Reaper turned back on two, three. Yeah, there is what uh, the plan evidently well, was. Well, I don't know. I do believe there has been a plan here. The Reaper is gone. He's out of there, and he has to leave the ring and go out of here. And once again, here is Cuz, Solomon, and uh, Rates down on the floor in their uh, their thinking session. Well, that's it. Bill. You know, I think they do have a plan. Maybe these two, uh, Tatum and Victory, I thought they were just a couple of dumb hillbillies. But it looks to me like they've got together with Jeff Rates and got themselves a little plan. Look at them. They're huddling up over here. This might, uh, they got something like a plan, almost like a, a maybe they got a play here coming up. I don't know. He said, Cuz in on one side, and they came around on the other side and hit these guys one on one. And right now, Victory and Tatum have got to be worried because they're very much size, weight, and numbers outclassed. Well, I think they outthought them. They knew that when Cuz went in all alone, they'd jump on him, so they kind of went around behind him. And uh, what goes around comes around, you know? See what they're saying here. Which one of you is going to start? Which one of you going to start? Oh, says, uh, what a decision. What a decision. <laughs> well, the last time, one said they're going to get the Reaper to start, and they all started. Yeah, well, that was the easy decision for the two of them to let the Reaper start, right? He don't know better anyway. Looks like Cuz has the assignment again. Well, I think, you know, last time, I think the last time uh, these two met Cuz, Cuz was the one that got the short end of the stick, if you know what I'm talking about there. And so I think he wants to get back in there with either one of these two. Some of our beautiful fans of Wild West Wrestling. Now, Victory says, is he going to start? Now they're spreading out around the ring. They got a plan yeah. going here, Bill. Here we go. These hillbillies ain't dumb, I'm telling you. They got one at each of three parts of the ring. <laughs> they're butt to butt. They don't know what's going on. Now, here we go. Now it's up to Cuz to come in. Watch out here as he moves in on the other side. They got Tatum wrapped up. One, two, three, and there goes Victory. I like it. There's a plan. Look at this. Now you got the three guys all the way down. <laughs> you got Tatum as the last man, and the other three are still there. And look at John Tatum. He looks like he is curled up like a little boy. Somebody just took his marbles and ran off with him. And Jack Victory's protesting. But Cuz and Solomon and Jeff Rachel have a plan. Well, that's it. Those three have done their homework. They've been watching tapes, figured these guys out frontwards and backwards, I think. And they've got all oh, the huh? Grundy's telling us right there. I think they got Ladies a plan. And Jack Victory has been eliminated. Victory's out of there. Speaking, we went back. We were talking about the missing link, you know, going into the bout, starting and then not starting. We got to talk to Sheena about that and find out just what, how that occurred, because we can't talk to Link. Well, that's it, you know, and the only one that you can talk to Link is Sheena. So if there's any thinking to be done, obviously I think it was it's Sheena had, is the logical one to me. Well, we'll find out if we can talk to her about that. Right now, I want to talk to these guys too sometime about Solomon and Cuz and Rates about what they've been working on. It's a very interesting process. And they're waiting now for Victory to exit the premises. He's got to leave the ring. And John Tatum is sorely, sorely concerned about this. You know, strategy. There's a strategy with the link. Now we got a strategy here with uh, these three have now successfully gotten rid of two of the other three. Left, and all that's left is Mr. Tatum. And he does not like to be left all alone. Jack Victor is giving him the old coaches, uh, hey, you can get out there and fight for the team and win this thing all by yourself. One against three. Now, the first two times here, Cuz has gone in. Now, Cuz going in again, Wild Bill. Well, that's it. You know, if you remember the last time they were together, Cuz came up on the short end of the stick, like I was telling you before. Maybe Cuz has been working this whole thing out so he can get in the ring with Tatum and just take care of a little old business. Yeah, they stole the thing from Cuz, and then uh, they came back with a two well, what, for it. What's he doing Whoa, now? Wait a minute. Of course, now, Rates has got a few bones to pick with yes. John Tatum, too, that's now. That's right. Either one of these guys, but I don't understand where, what, what's Cuz doing. I know Cuz is gone He's, now, and Jeff you know, Rates is in there. Cuz is... Where, where did he go? I mean, he looked like he's going back to the dressing room. What I is he... Uh, I don't see him right now. He left. He left Solomon out there. 
And I can't see Cuz right at the moment. John Tatum also is a little concerned about that, too. He's looking around. Because Tatum has all this on his back now. He's got to win three times to win this match. Uh, yeah, he's got a heck of a, a, a road to hole ahead of him, I'm telling you. Tatum is still talking about that. Oh. Now here's Solomon in, and he is uh, also discussing something about uh, the count. And I think he's killing time myself, Bill. I think he's just trying to get his win, trying to figure out some type of a plan of his own, trying to get out of this thing. He don't know. It's a well-planned adventure by these uh, great yeah. Solomon, Grundy, and Cubs. And you still, know. Tatum is concerned. you got a big uh, six-man coming up yourself on uh, the 29th of yeah. Billy Bob's, our next... Uh, that's big right, television the time. time we're here. The next time we're here, Billy Bob's uh, winning Six Man with the Link and uh, the Fabulous Land. What do we have? We got Iceman and uh, Freebird and what? The, the new spoiler. Yeah, the new spoiler. Whoa! And right now, coming right back after taking a few shots is Jeff Brates. Bang, bang on John Tatum, who is they're really in a fit of supplication right now. Not, 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 there's, see, there's, there's, there's Tatum using. He's doing a little a ploy tactic there. To, Get himself a little time. Don't give him that time. Get in on him. Try to get that one, two, three. I don't know. He's crawling there, and everybody always feels sorry for somebody that's crawling. Acting like he is really yeah. uh, ready to give himself up. But he's, he's playing possum. Yeah. Jeff Rates, as you said, he's got a bone to pick with Tatum. Everybody up there does, even the referee. <laughs> they've, all been, uh, they've all been the brunt of John Tatum, the Hollywood man. Well... I think John here, uh, you know, I, you know he's got the old wheels turning here. He's thinking of something. Well, oh, right there. He right rips there. it from in the eye. Comes down. Gives you all these histrionics and all this uh, little boy attitude, but you got to be careful with him as he slams Jeff Rakes and immediately puffs up a little bit. I said he better start moving a little quicker if he expects to catch these guys, though. I think he's a little uh, winded. Yeah, he's had a, an emotional drain here, if not a physical drain as yet. Jeff. Jeff Rates, look out on top of this. Great move by Rates. Play, neither one of these guys are moving very quick. If Rates wants to do anything, you got to tag off. There, there he goes, yeah. Solomon uh -oh. comes on. Uh-oh. Here's 400 and some pounds of mad. Now, while we watch Jeff uh, Rates move out, Solomon move in with John Tatum. Got to remind the fans in Lawton, Oklahoma, that on uh, the 3rd of next month, they're going to see John Tatum. And they're going to see... You, in fact. That's it. I'm gonna be there. That's wild, right. We're going, West Wrestling. we're going back to school, aren't we? That's right. Going back to the Lawton High School. Sponsored by the Lawton High School Wrestling Club. What better could that oh, be? Oh, maybe a couple of star finds there. <laughs> Solomon Grundy. He's got John Tatum in tow. And John, something looks like a claw, but I guess he's just resting. No, he's going to rip down across the eyes. John Tatum, one half of the Wild West Tag Team Champions. He has been put in position having to defend himself totally uh -oh. against three. Oh, oh. Crunch! Oh, that hurts the ribs. That hurts the ribs and the back at the same time. Thought the market oh. price was tough. Try to uh, get in the middle of that. Well, that's it. You got 400 pounds moving into a corner there. And them turnbuckles, although there is some padding, they are hard. And look at Jeff Race flying high in these flying drop kicks on... John Tatum, they're punishing and they're having fun right now as they come back against Tatum. Where is Cuz? What, where, where, what did he do, leave? He looked everywhere. I thought maybe he sat down with the I, fans, but I do not see him. Yeah, maybe he just wanted to make it a little more fair for John Tatum. I don't know. He went back, take a shower, get cleaned up, and come out and watch the end of this one. Boy, Jeff Ray, flying high, drops a leg across the throat of John Tatum. Did it work on Tatum. Now it's going to be Solomon coming in, or they just going to just go, whoa, oh, here's Cuz. <laughs> Cuz has a little, little red, red wagon. wagon. That's it. Everybody, you had one of those little flyers when oh. you were a kid. So well, did I. Didn't everybody have a little everybody red wagon? Had... What, what are you going to do now? Where did he get this one? I don't know. Here comes victory. Here comes oh. the reaper. Everybody's the reaper back. back. The reaper. Oh, oh, they're just, I think they're just coming. To, oh, they're going to tear him in half if they keep pulling like this. Get him in the wagon. Get, get him in the wagon. Come on. The warriors there. They're trying to put John Tatum in the little wagon and take him off. And here comes the buddies of Tatum in. Well, that should be a disqualification for interfering in this bout. That's it. Sure should. See yeah. what uh, Tim Krusik has to say on this. But they came up, interfered. Well, I think that kind of lets us know what that plan was. Ah, uh, yes. I think old Cuz come up with a plan just to humiliate old Mr. Tatum for beating him. You know, on the last time, they kind of pulled a quickie on uh, Cuz. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Harold Harris informs me that because of a disqualification, the winners of this six-man tag team contest, Solomon Grundy. Come